Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another weekend product review. Today, I've got something for Sketchy the truck. With modern day cars, most of them all have the ability to transmit information via Apple CarPlay or Android, right? Some of the older cars like Sketchy, which is a 2010 Ford F-150, they don't have that ability to do that unless you get a new head unit or new radio that have, has those kinds of capabilities. Well, now all you have to do is add one of these carpu ride things. I'll show it to you. This is a 10.3 inch touchscreen, 2.5 HD, and it's so easy to install. You just put a bracket on here and you can either mount it with screws or self-adhesive tape on your dashboard. So it looks like an extension of a new screen. A lot of new cars like Mercedes, they have a little screen like that, that looks like it doesn't belong there, but it belongs there. So this is exactly that kind of a mimic. It also has a capability of using a window suction cup mount. You can choose either, whether you wanna stick it on your dash or mount it on your glass. Today, I'm gonna mount it right on my dashboard. So easy to hook up. You connect a wire to it, you can hide it in the A pillars or the roof ceiling line, whatever, or inside the dash. And you just plug it into your cigarette lighter. You can also plug it into a USB, but it has to be 2.5 with five volts charging, otherwise it won't run properly. With this, you can do wired or wireless Bluetooth pairing, meaning that every time you get into your car with your phone, it automatically pairs to your phone. And therefore, whatever is on your screen, such as you want navigation, you just type in what you need on your phone as normal, and the map will show up on your screen. Also, if you get phone calls from people, it goes directly into here. You can also play music out of here. And also, Mirror, Apple Mirror Play. Mirror Play is whatever's on your screen will show up on this screen. So theoretically, you could watch YouTube videos while you're driving. So you go to AirPlay, thus it mirrors the phone to the screen, and we can play this video. And you might say, well, it's, you know, doesn't look very good. It's very small on the screen. Well, you can just go in landscape mode. Following, and of course we can full screen it. One. Which is not recommended. So I'm gonna show you real quick what's in the box. So you got the 10.3 inch screen, right? touch screen. You also have an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter cord where you can plug this in, plug this into something else so that you can pair it that way with the wire. Here we have the dash mount. This is probably what I'm going to use. Basically, you can rotate this 360 degrees up or down and you can tighten it. It comes with this double-sided self-adhesive pad that matches perfectly to this thing. You just pull that off, stick it there. It's still not secure. Maybe in the summer when it's too hot, it starts to pull off. You can also drill small holes. Just run them in there with screws. This is the suction cup mount. Where you can mount it to your windshield and have it in the middle of your screen. And here's your cigarette lighter power plug. Just plug this into the unit, plug it into your cigarette lighter. You can hide the wires underneath the dash. Self-adhesive plate. If you want to put this on your dash, the suction cup on your dash. A lot of ways to install it. Here are the instructions that tell you exactly what to do. I'm going to install it really quick and we'll see how it works. There you go. I mounted that perfectly. Doesn't that look fantastic? 
I had a little area there that I never used, you know. Uh, it's covering a display, but you never look at that display anyway. Also, I have a cigarette lighter plug that's right there. You can just wire it like that, or you can tuck it in underneath this if you wanted to. Uh, I also have one down here, but I don't want the wire to be that hanging. So right there is fine. I was going to hide that, but this is non-switched, meaning this is always going to be on. So I want it to be switched where you turn on your ignition and then it comes on. I don't want it on all the time, you know. I think they make a switched uh, adapter for that too, so I might get that instead. Or connect it to a switched power. Anyway, I'm adjusting the uh, time right now. You go into settings and you can adjust the time. As you can see here, you have language, device, speaker on or off, if you want this to emit sounds, whatever. Uh, Right-hand drive or left-hand drive, mostly it's right-hand. Restore factory settings, system version. Here's the uh, setup to get your Android wired link or your iPhone wired link. This is for a Wi-Fi, the information, uh, warning, video warning, meaning if you're watching a video, should you get a warning that tells you you shouldn't be driving and watching a movie. A park lens for if you want to install a uh, backup camera, which I already have from my dash cam. You can attach your backup camera into here and see it on this screen, whether or not you want the park line, you know, you know the grids to show you where you're, how you're parking. Like that. Rear camera mirror, all kinds of options. Return, you have the volume over here. And that's it. Uh, iPlay, Android Auto, AirPlay, Auto Link, Equalizer. Bluetooth, USB, you can stick your USB with music or video in it and on the side over here. Uh, TF or SD card. You can transmit FM modulator and that's the settings button. Really pretty cool. I'm going to pair my phone to it now. So I just paired my phone via Bluetooth to the uh, Carpy Ride screen. And as you can see, it mimics my screen right there. I'm running low on battery. <laughs> it's fantastic. That's fantastic. See all the news, your navigation. That's fantastic. Now here's the main screen with my apps that's on my phone. I haven't ordered Domino's in a while. I should take that away. You can choose this big screen here where you can just slide it and you can have your navigation on one and you still have some other things that you can see on this side. You can also set this to the same frequency as your radio and it'll play through there. So how about that guys? Looks fantastic, isn't it? You can modernize your not so modern vehicle. The older cars can now look at the new cars. Um, great function, makes life easier. You get in and automatically Bluetooth on your phone. So you just you can navigate, you can play music, you can play all kinds of things on there. Fantastic. It's uh, very inexpensive to go check out the link in the description if you're interested. Thanks a lot to Carpy Ride for uh, sending it to me for the review. And we'll see you guys all next time on Mowers and Blowers. That's gold, Jerry. Go! See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.